going to talk about two drills to do to really start to allow you to get this shaft angle, this compression, this lag angle coming into the golf ball so you can see those balls start to rocket off the face and get that nice little crack off the ball that we all hear the great players do. Let's talk about what really makes this almost impossible to do is getting to the top and this idea of kind of how do I maintain lag because when I get to the top I'm going to have some angle here I'm going to have some lag angle how do I have this show up to more club head speed and more compression down by the ball yeah I ask I'll ask a lot of golfers in lessons what are they trying to do sure especially from the top and a lot of them that struggle with kind of flipping and lack of compression they're in an attempt to fix that they're trying to hold this angle here all the way into the downswing because they think if they hold that and drive their elbow into their side they'll somehow magically hang on to this lag and have shackling it actually causes the opposite problem if i have this let's just say it's 90 degrees so it's not even overly bent but if i hold that angle you see which way the mass of the club is swinging out past my hands mm -hmm. when that happens you ain't strong enough to hold that off. That club head's gonna take on its own force. It's like a mind of its own, and it's gonna get to the golf ball and you're not gonna be able to stop it. Instead, you've gotta think more arrow out of a quiver. Yeah. You've gotta start straightening this right arm coming down as you keep this right wrist bent. That's what allows you to maintain this weight of the club, right? Back here behind you as that happens, rather than having it tip out past your hands. If I was gonna throw a ball down at the ground, I would never do it like this. I would right. start getting those angles to come out so I could release that thing in the right place. And that's a very similar thought process to not doing this. These great players aren't trying to hold these angles. They're releasing these angles. There's more speed and there's more lag in that than trying to hold the angles. So let's jump into gears so you can see exactly what we're talking about. Let's look at a couple of great examples of players who know how to use their trail arm to create tons of lag, lean, and compression. These guys are multiple PGA Tour winners and would fall on the high end of the spectrum for shaft lean, while at the same time falling on the low end of the spectrum for rotation. Looking at our first pro here at the top, his right elbow has bent 84 degrees. As he starts down, notice that number increases by about 4 degrees because of the momentum he has from his change of directions, then decreases rapidly. And as that's happening, notice his lag angle. This is that arrow out of the quiver move we mentioned earlier. This movement is what keeps his club head behind his head for so long. By straightening his right arm from the top, he can load his lag angles for a powerful release through impact. He's doing the opposite of what we see so many AMs trying to do, which is increase their elbow bend as they try to drive their elbow forward. And that move is literally the opposite of what you're seeing here. And our second pro gets to the top of his backswing with 82 degrees of right elbow bend. He carries less momentum into his change of directions, so you're gonna see his bend number decrease straight away. You'll also see his lag angle increase as his right arm straightens. Many folks have a hard time wrapping their head around this because they associate the arm straightening with casting. It's actually the opposite that will cause them to cast. Those players are trying to lag it with the elbow while we see the pros lag it with the wrist and the straightening of their right arm. Take yourself to the top of the swing like you see our pro here. Now, take your left hand off the club. Just let it hang right in front of you. And without allowing any rotation, so just literally pin your shoulders and hips so they don't move, allow yourself to lower and straighten your trail arm. The key is you want it to lower and straighten towards your pocket, not out towards the golf ball. If you had zero rotation in your downswing, that's where your hands would fall. It's the pivot that carries them out to that classic thump position that you see here from our pros. And that's pretty much it. It's a super simple, easy drill to do. It doesn't look like this in the real swing because there's rotation involved, obviously. But all you're trying to do is make sure your right arm, your trail arm, lowers and straightens as you start your downswing talk about how we're trying to make that right arm in particularly move so we can have that lag that we want down by the ball. Yeah, so basically, you know, once I get down here into delivery where the hands are about waist high and I've got my angle still here in my wrist, you know, this drill is all about trying to figure out how to move the body and the arms forward enough mm -hmm. to not hit that 
uh, lie board when it's on the ground, right? So if I keep my hands back yes, yes. and keep this elbow behind me, I'm forced to dump the angles early. I need to learn how to move this right arm kind of across my midline a little bit, right, of my body as I'm starting to open. And you can see how much better that would put my hands forward where everyone's trying to get them. It's got to straighten through the shot, right? And that yep. pushes things forward this yep, way yep. as I'm rotating and with my weight forward, I mean, I could hit the ground in front of the ball all day long. Right, now the arm is straightening. It's not gonna be dead straight at impact. Let's yeah, it make won't sure actually, we're clear about that. Yeah, it will get dead straight kind of right in this Past area. You impact. see most players, it starts point, the club will start pointing back right. at you. And that's a good point too. You don't wanna drag this thing forever. Right. The speed comes from getting this club to point back at you. And when you position yourself and move the arms correctly, it'll happen here instead of back in here. Now let's go back to that starting spot again. Mm -hmm. I, I want you to add this to it when we start to do it. So okay. come to that delivery phase. I want you to feel the arms. We're really gonna exaggerate the arms moving across you with this club head staying as high as you can make it. Yeah, so this is be a real exaggeration, but I'm swinging the butt of the club in front of the ball, basically. This is this would be a good exaggeration. So we're really though. keeping that right wrist bent. Butt of the in. club forward and then letting it out yes. at the ball. So those of you that really are having a hard time this way, you'd see how far I'd have to swing my right arm in front of my body. You could see how far forward I could have the shaft. And what that's gonna force you to do, again, you won't do this in the real golf swing if that face is wide open. Yeah, you have to learn to twist it a right? little bit. Because you're gonna learn to start to close the face as this is happening. All right, so let's, let's hit a couple down range here. <clears throat> yeah. We've got our feedback, and we're gonna put the ball about six, eight inches in front of this audible feedback there. And that's just the lie board. Yeah, these are good. You know, you need something to practice with. Right. You could use a towel. This is this will tend to uh, get your attention That's a little right. bit more, right? It'll it get is, everyone on the range's attention. Everyone will be turning around looking at you. You don't want to do this from 50-50. Yeah. You want to mimic impact as best you can, which is going to be more weight on your front foot. Yeah, so about three, four inches forward with the center of the hips, open, handle slightly forward. Preset that. You're not yeah. trying to get there in this little swing. Yeah, you preset impact. You make some little swings and chip some balls out there um, with a little short finish, making sure you don't hit this board. Now, to do that, I've done that a lot over the years, so I know I can do it with a little more speed like I just did. A lot of you are going to have to go at this pace and just yeah. barely chip it until you can learn, okay, I see what I need to be doing. The hands are working across um, as I move through the shot so I don't hit the board. The goal of the drill is to make the correct movements so you can then put speed on top of those movements. There's no shortcut. The goal, that's, there's no magic to it. It's as simple as that. The goal is never to have you make full speed swings and then try to put good movements on top of those full speed swings. That never works. No. So if it takes chipping it five feet rather than your stock 150, that's what you have to learn to do the speed, as the movement gets better, the speed will come and it'll be easier speed. I challenge you guys to do this drill and hit one 10 feet. And a lot of you are gonna struggle with that because you're using this speed to try to make the club do something that because it's out of position or you're out of position. If you want a litmus test for how good your golf swing is, make a full motion golf swing and try to hit the ball 10 feet. That's a you, great drill. It's incredibly difficult to do because you can't hide all these poor movements inside of a slow yeah, move. Try to make it look like a normal golf swing. Right. Like the better you can make a swing and it looks just like a slow motion film of a good swing, the better you're going to get. That's exactly right. So give that a try. This will absolutely start to run up your compression. You'll start to see better and better iron shots from it. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give us a like, give us a thumbs up. Also, if you have a question about the video or there's a topic you want us to cover in a future video, leave it down in the comments below. We read every single comment and we respond to them. And that's how we create new content for you in the future. Now, if you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button so you know exactly when one of our new videos comes out. If you want more compression on your iron shots, more tour quality, solid iron shots, every time you go out to play, we created a free video just for you. In the pinned comment below, you're going to find a link. Click on the link, going to be taken to another page. You're going to enter your name and your email address. Once you do that, you're going to be taken instantly to the free video training where you're going to learn our number one go-to drill to get more compression on your iron shots, which is going to allow you to hit more greens and have more fun playing the game. Yeah.